was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 27. I have a strong family history. My mother passed away from breast cancer and my aunt passed away from breast cancer. I'm a mammography technologist here at the Regional Breast Center for St. Luke's. I work in the field day in and day out with breast cancer patients, so I kind of knew the statistics. I always feel that if I would not have had that mammogram, I wouldn't be here today. Our guiding principle at the Breast Center here has been to treat every patient as if they are your mother, sister, or wife. And when they come in here, it's not just about being empathetic and hand-holding for what are inevitably anxious patients, but also getting them answers as quickly as possible. The Regional Breast Center, where we are right now, was really created to provide a high-end uh, breast imaging center for all of the patients throughout the St. Luke system. We have screening centers all over the Lehigh Valley, but anyone who has an issue comes to the Regional Breast Center for this second level of care where we do diagnostic mammograms and ultrasound and biopsy. I think most women, we hear so many things from the media like don't have a mammogram, have a mammogram at 50. I think as a technologist I feel that it's my actually duty to educate you so you can know what the right thing to do is. We've really just gotten very expert in moving patients through the process as efficiently and with the highest quality possible. And now when we're adding in 3D mammography and automated breast ultrasound, uh, we're really gonna hopefully take it to the next level. We find 20% uh, more breast cancers than the national average, and we do so by doing significantly less biopsies. We're finding more cancers and doing less biopsies, and that's really what everyone's working towards. Cancer should not define you. It's something that you're going through at this moment in time, but it's a curable disease. Losing your hair is awful. Radiation is awful. You feel awful the whole time when you're getting a treatment, but there is life after cancer. If you have your screenings and if you are proactive, you can survive cancer. Many people think getting a mammogram is like getting a blood test where it's all read in the same uh, way, basically. But really, um, having a mammogram read is very dependent on the experience and education of the doctor reading them. So for example, here, our docs predominantly do breast all day, and our quality numbers show it. Breast ultrasound is um, a test that we consider operator dependent, meaning the quality of the images are only as good as the technologists that are acquiring the images. Some women think that they can't have a mammogram if they don't have insurance, um, if they don't have the proper connections. I wanted to make sure that that community is served and, and they know that they can come to St. Luke's and get the proper health care that is needed. When I have a patient and let's say they come in, they have a lump and, you know, of course they're expecting the worst. And I'm there and I kind of tell them my story. It makes them feel at ease that if you survived it, then I can do it. It's incredibly rewarding to know that I'm part of a team that saved someone's life.